If you haven't already, please like and subscribe below. All right, everybody, today we're going to be reading The Minosaur by Sudipta Badhan Kualan. Sorry if I hacked that to pieces. Illustrated by David Clock. I could do that name. One morning before Mrs. Raptor rang the bell, the dinosaurs were playing in the schoolyard. All of a sudden, they heard a roar. Mine, mine, mine! Oh no, muttered Stegosaurus. Here comes the Minosaur. He snatched the jump rope and the ball. He threw the cars against the wall. And then he roared to one and all. Mine, mine, mine! Guanodon said, Well, that's not fair. Triceratops said, You should share. But the Minosaur yelled, I don't care. They're mine, mine, mine. Right then the bell rang. The Minosaur hugged the toys and sighed, All mine. You're late, Mrs. Raptor said when the Minosaur finally came to class. Now you'll have to paint your project during snack time. By the time the Minosaur finished, snack time was in full swing. The Minosaur rushed on ahead. He snatched the scones and strudel bread. He bit the butter tots and said, They're mine, mine, mine. That's our food, yelled a Patasaur. No, it's not, cried Minosaur. And soon there was a tug o' war as he wailed, Mine! The rest of the class can go out for recess, Miss Raptor said. You will stay here until you clean up this mess. The Minosaur scowled and bit into a scone. At least the food's all mine, he grumbled, but the feast wasn't as much fun when it was made for one. At recess, the Minosaur saw the other dinos having fun building a tower. His arms were flailing all around. The tower tumbled to the ground. He grabbed a bunch of blocks and frowned. They're mine, mine, mine. How could you, yelled Iguanodon. It's wrecked now, said Pteranodon. The Minosaur said, oh, come on. These blocks are mine. The dinos rolled their eyes. Finally, Triceratops says, Let's go, guys. I don't need them anyway, said the Minosaur. I'll build a better tower by myself. Look at this, he shouted. The biggest tower ever! But there was no dino around to hear. At the other end of the yard, the rest of the dinos were laughing and playing. They didn't seem to miss the Minosaur at all. The Minosaur began to shake. There's nothing left for me to take. No toys at all, for goodness sake. And they don't care. The Minosaur wanted to laugh and play too, so he gathered up all the stuff that was his and headed toward the dinos. The Minosaur asked, Want some snacks? The other dinos turned their backs. I brought the blocks for us to stack. Come on, let's share. The Minosaur tried saying, Please, I brought some toys, I'll give you these. The dino stared down at their knees. They just didn't care. <laughs> oh, okay then, said the Minosaur. He put all the stuff down. You guys should play. The dinos looked at each other. Isn't this your stuff? asked Stegosaurus. The Minosaur shook his head. I shouldn't have taken it. The Minosaur was still walking when he heard the dinos shout, Wait! They said, We want to play with you, said Minosaur. You really do? The dinos nodded. Yes, it's true. If you'll share, it's fine. The Minosaur yelled, It's a deal! I have the thing I want, he squealed. You don't know how this makes me feel. My friends, you're mine! 
Mine, mine, mine. All right, kids. What did you think of the book? Obviously, this uh, book, Minosaur, it's pretty easy. The, the moral of the story is to share. You know, if you, if you don't share, no one's going to want to hang out with you. You know, there's a lot of things, you know, these books aren't just to read. There's usually a moral behind the, the book. And this one is share. Make sure you share. You know, I hope you get you kids, you know, it's fun that you get to listen to me be silly and play around and, and whatnot. But I want you to learn something from this too. So that's what this one is about. It's about sharing. Make sure you share and you're, you're friendly and kind and good to other people. So I, I hope you guys like this one. Uh, please like and subscribe below and uh, we'll see you soon.